hello everyone so welcome to my second video in this video we will start developing our first blocks using the Gutenberg default package so keep in mind that there are two ways to add custom blocks to a site one is the from it flyings and another is from a theme you can either uh, add the custom blocks using the plugins or theme so first we want to start uh, to adding the custom blocks as a plugins so you should have a sort of understanding on wordpress plugins development so i think you are already familiar with this wordpress plugins development so you can see this is my the plugins uh, interface and uh, right now there is no plugins are available in our directory so we'll start our first plugins so before going to start developing so the block plugins you can search on the google block developer handbook and if you search for this you can see this is our uh, handbook url here is a complete instruction or documentations about the block development if you read all of this chapter you will be expert in this development area i think so so explain this the get started area and if you go to this tutorial you can see this is our first blocks development tutorial so click on this and there is a good explanation how to start your uh, developing your first block and we can see we are just going to use our create block package so our uh, default package that is given by the wordpress is our wordpress slash create package we will use this package to develop our first blog so you can see this is our comment we will use the latest version and then we have to give the name of the plugins and there is two variations we know that the plugins uh, uh gutenberg has two types of blocks one is uh dynamic blocks and another is static block uh, so we we'll discuss about how it is the difference between the dynamic and static blocks right now we are um, going to build the first block that will be our static block so we don't need to use the variation at all right now so this is our comment i am just going to copy this one so we have to open to our plugins folder you can see this is our plugins folder and i open this in a terminal like this one okay uh in this terminal you have to type this uh comment this and then you have to give the name of your plugins this plugins name can be the first or first block like first block so this is our plugins name and this is the comment for this package if you press the enter it will take a few minutes to install all kinds of dependencies and it will uh, completely prepare it a plugins with a demo block so press enter so you can see there is our installation is completely done and you can see uh, it is uh, giving some instruction first we can start our server for development and we start for the production mode we have to build uh, this package we can then run npm run build so to format the files we can run npm run format there are some other options also like uh, yes lint and package so we can update to the packages also so first we have to go to our plugins folder so we have to go to cd first folder uh, i mean first block cd first block and if you uh, want to see the all files you can see these are not modules plugins uh, package rotation and source folder so uh let us open the plugins uh, in my VS code yeah if you check out this you can see this is our plain stem first block here is the description i mean this is the header section for our uh, plugins this is very simple and common uh it is a hook in in it hook and it is restarting our blocks uh from this all build folder 
we'll discuss about each and every course in details so don't worry about this i'm not just going to explain each and every course i will just want to show what uh, this plugin has done so our first plugin is already uh, prepared if we go to this uh, plugin interface and refresh uh, you can see this is our first plugin and if you activate our plugin is successfully activated that's great now let us uh, uh, create a first uh, base this is our first looks for our getting work so if you go to this area you can see there is three types of mode one is a spotlight mode full screen i want to remove this one and i basically i like this one so click on this blocking sorter and go down and search for the first block you can see this is our first block and we have uh, really successfully added our first block but it is really completely static uh, there is no editing option also but our block is already completely and publish to see the front end you can see this is our front end and this is our backend and right now this code uh, this content is coming from our first block and we have created our first blocks with a simple comment using this great uh, block uh, package so you can see this is a very simple way to build a you know, fast block within a few minutes and it is really a very simple thing but we have to extend this and we have to organize all of this code uh, based on our need we'll do this in the next videos so in the next video we'll discuss about each and every structure of this package i mean we'll discuss about the file structure and how it works then we'll start uh, uh, exploring the default components and finally we'll build our own boiler plant from scratch so create your first gutenberg box using these plugins in your machine and test it thank you